Hi, my name is Becky Logue and I'm a dental hygienist and I'm also the inventor of the Dental Rat. This is a quick instructional video to demonstrate how simple and easy the Dental Rat will run your software. So let's get started. I'd like to introduce you to Natalie. She's an experienced hygienist that's been using the dental rat regularly, and she's going to give you some quick ergonomic tips. Now, a hygienist can use either their right or left foot. I choose to use my left foot. I sit in a comfortable position and rest my leg bent at a 90 degree angle. I also rest my foot upon the dental rat. I make sure that I can see the computer screen so that I am able to go from screen to screen. Now, let's show you how the dental rat works. At the top of my dental rat is the mouse. At the bottom of the dental rat is the left mouse click and kill rest. Across the middle, I have numbers 1 through 8. To activate 1 through 4, I press and release. 1, 2, 3, 4. To activate numbers 5 through 8, I press and hold down for more than 1 second. 5, 6, 7, and 8. For numbers higher than 8, we'll talk about that with your software. When you're first starting out, you might want the mouse a little bit slower. To slow down the mouse, press the left two buttons down and hold them there. And at the same time, press down on the joystick with your other foot. As you gain more experience, you'll probably want the mouse to go a little bit faster. To speed up the mouse, press the left two buttons down and then push up on the joystick with your other foot. Okay. This is the complete exam perio chart. And you can choose to update the last perio chart by doing the copy prior, or you can enter a whole new exam. I'm going to show you how to just do a whole new exam. The dental rat's just going to follow your set path with it and it's going to automatically advance tooth to tooth. And you can mark your bleeding and recession as needed as you're going along in one simple pass. So you just start by entering your numbers. These are your numbers across the middle here. One, two, three, four. And if you hold the numbers down for over a second, they become five, two becomes six, 3 becomes 7, and 4 becomes 8. If you have numbers higher than 8, you just simply mouse over with your toe to the number 9, and you would heel click, and it's going to enter the 9 in. If you have a number 10 and above, you mouse over with your toe to the 10 plus, and you heel click. Your heel button is working as your leg rests, but it's also your left mouse click. So what I usually recommend doing is putting your mouse over on the bleeding point, just up here on this bleeding spot. And then as you're doing your numbers, anytime you rock back on your heel, it's going to mark a bleeding point. So say you're going along and you have a 434 with 2 millimeters recession and bleeding. I can also mark my recession and the bleeding at the same time. So if my mouse is on the bleeding there, I'm going to just hit hit my 434 and I'm going to rock back on my heel which is going to mark my bleeding. And then if I have recession, I just mouse over with my toe to the R and I'm going to heel click and I'm going to add my millimeters of recession. Maybe I've got two millimeters, I, we did two millimeters recession, right? So I'm going to do two. Okay, now it's just waiting for your next pocket depths. So you can just continue entering your pocket depths. And if your mouse is on bleeding, when you rock back, it's going to mark your bleeding. If you make a mistake, you have your arrows down here at the bottom and you just mouse down to your arrows and you would just heel click and they'll just back you up or if you need to go forward you're just gonna go to the for mouse over to the forward button and it's gonna make you go forward. 
but the more you get used to it and especially with the audio feedback where it repeats the numbers for you you're not going to find that you're going to be making too many mistakes okay I want to show you a fast and easy way to just update the last perio chart with a complete exam it makes it really nice and easy when you open your program you can just mouse up to the copy prior and then you're able to just probe everything just like you would but only change the ones that have changed so you're still probing and checking every two every tooth but let's just say all the pockets have stayed the same on two through seven and number eight has changed so what you're going to do is you're going to mouse over to number eight and you're going to heel click and then maybe number eight is now a four three four so you're just going to enter with your dental rat the four three four and you can take your mouse either on the forward button or to the next tooth that does change so you're still probing checking everything and either setting your mouse down here on the forward button and letting it auto advance till you have a tooth that changes or you can just mouse directly to the tooth that you want to change you can do this throughout the mouth and when you go to save it it's going to save that whole thing as today's period chart and it still saves last times you just find the path that works best for you don't limit yourself since it is a mouse you can do everything with it you can run your x-rays if you have your x-rays in the complete exam you would just mouse up to your images up here and you would heel click on those and it would bring up your x-rays there I don't I just have um, I have the Schick x-rays down at the bottom so I minimize my x-rays and then I would just heel click and bring those up but it makes it so handy when you're using your x-rays in your intro camera you can just mouse right up to whatever you want to look at with your toe and then heel click and it will bring that open um, if you want to capture with your intraoral camera sometimes you have your camera in the mouth and you can't hit the button um, you can put your mouse park your mouse right on the word capture and then when you get your angle just right where you want it all you have to do is heel click and it's going to capture your picture that you just took or you can just you know open up different pictures and talk and educate your patient while they're in the chair they think that's really intriguing they they you didn't take your gloves off and they think it's just magic depending on on whatever program you have you're able to run it with this so it's just that simple have fun with it and don't limit yourself we want to thank you for your time and your interest in the dental rat if you have any additional questions please feel free to contact us